Bulletproof Diet is one of the few diets out there that recommends you pay attention to the specific types of fat in small levels of detail because different fats do radically different things to your body. And one of the things that's in the Bulletproof Diet is a type of oil called brain octane. And there's a broader category of oil called medium chain triglycerides or MCT oils. And based off the body of work in the Bulletproof Diet, a lot of people are talking about how you should use MCT oils. The problem is it doesn't really mean anything when you say MCT oil. You'll hear things like MCT oils help you lose weight, curb your hunger, kick your brain into higher gear, enhance your workouts. Well, that's not always true because if people say things like, well, drinking water is good for you, yeah, but drinking ocean water is different than drinking fresh spring water. They're different things. Same thing, is eating carbs good or carbs bad? Who the heck knows? Are we talking corn syrup or are we talking uh, some form of resistance starch? So you wanna pay attention to what kind of fat and specifically MCT oil, what kind of MCT oil, because it's not just one thing. MCTs are a special class of fat. They don't act like short chain fats, which you normally get from bacteria in your gut, and then they don't act like most of the fats that you're used to having, which are technically called long chain fats. And you can think of a fat molecule kind of like a rat. <laughs> it's a large body with a thin tail coming off of it. And the length of the tail determines a great deal about how your body's gonna process that fat. MCTs get their name from their tails, they're medium, and that means that they've got between six and 12 carbon atoms on them. If you're more than 13, you have omega, you have saturated fats, and there are four kinds of MCTs. That means there's C6, C8, C10, and C12. And basically, the shorter the tail length, the more efficiently they turn into ketones, which is a source of energy that doesn't come from sugar. The reason you use brain octane in Bulletproof Coffee is that it raises your ketone levels. In fact, it raises it more than MCT oil and way more than coconut oil. The first of the MCTs is called C6. And C6 is the shortest MCT, and you can convert it into ketones except that it smells and tastes like goats. Seriously, C6 got its name caproic acid from capra, which is Latin for goat. It also causes digestive issues even in tiny doses. A lot of the MCT oils you can buy out there now contain one to 2% C6, which is not on the label because it's in such a small amount that you don't have to disclose it. But when you drink it, you get burning in your throat or you get disaster pants. This was a major problem in the creation of Bulletproof Coffee. A lot of times people would use MCT oil and they would get problems. The next type of MCT oil is called C8 or caprylic acid. This is what brain octane is made from, although brain octane is triple distilled and only comes from coconut oil, not from palm oil where most C8 comes from and most C8 on the market is mixed with other oils. Brain octane converts to ketones within minutes, which makes it really powerful for suppressing hunger and fueling your brain. In fact, in a study from the University of California, brain octane raised ketones more than any other MCT and way more than coconut oil. When it's created the way we do it with triple distillation, it is flavorless, odorless, and way easier on your stomach so you avoid the pitfalls that you get from the other MCT oils that are very rough on the gut. This way you can consume less oil to get more ketones without digestive problems. The other form that you'll find on the market in form that I do use in XCT oil is called C10 or capric acid. It is less efficient than brain octane at raising ketones because it has two extra carbons on it, which means it takes longer to turn into ketones, you do still get a mental and metabolic boost from it, and it raises ketones better than coconut oil, but not as well as brain octane oil. It is much more available in coconut oil than C8, so it's more affordable to produce and to buy. The Bulletproof XCT oil is a blend of brain octane and C10 capric acid, which makes it more affordable. The final kind of MCT oil is the kind that's most upsetting. It's called C12 or lauric acid. And lauric acid or C12 is not really a medium chain triglyceride or an MCT oil at all. It behaves like a long chain fatty acid in the body. Years ago, a chemist, not a biochemist, looked at the length of carbon atoms and arbitrarily said this is a medium chain triglyceride, which is why it's legal for unethical companies to label lauric acid as an MCT oil. 
Lauric acid is very cheap because it's all over the place. It's almost half of the fat that's in coconut oil. So people can sell what is basically coconut oil as an MCT oil. Unwitting consumers buy MCT oil containing lauric acid and they don't get the metabolic benefits that they would expect from something that works like brain octane oil. So does that mean lauric acid is bad for you? No, lauric acid has health benefits. It's antimicrobial. You just want a tablespoon or two. So eat a little bit of coconut oil, which gives you lauric acid for free, but don't make the mistake of thinking that lauric acid will raise your ketones or coconut oil will raise your ketones any more than fasting. In fact, the same research that found brain octane raised ketones the most found that fasting and coconut oil basically had the same effect. So you could eat nothing or you could eat nothing with coconut oil and your ketones are going to be the same. Does that mean you shouldn't eat coconut oil? Absolutely not. Coconut oil is great stuff. It's good for all sorts of recipes. It has a strong flavor, but if you're looking to get MCT oil from your coconut oil, watch out. It's going to be about 6% brain octane in that coconut oil you're eating. So it might take you more than 10 tablespoons of coconut oil to get what you're getting in one tablespoon of brain octane oil. In terms of suppressing hunger, brain octane is really interesting because as you get low in energy, your stomach and intestines send a powerful little hormone called ghrelin to your brain. When it arrives in your brain, ghrelin starts making you demand more fuel. And ghrelin's nickname is the hunger hormone. It's what makes you get hungry and also get those cravings where you just have to eat. And your stomach is gonna keep pumping out more and more ghrelin until you eat. And once you have some food, your ghrelin release slows down and then another hormone called CCK, the fullness hormone comes into play. That's how it works. The problem is that your ghrelin will make you keep wanting to eat over and over. It's ketones that come in and turn ghrelin off. So if you eat normal food, you don't get the spike in ketones that suppresses ghrelin and raises CCK. In fact, in studies, very small amounts of ketones, much lower than you get from these aggressive ketosis diets or the ketosis phase of the Bulletproof diet, you don't need to get there to have the ghrelin and CCK positive effects on hunger suppression. You need only to get to 0.5 on a meter, which is below what they consider to be nutritional ketosis. In studies, uh, these types of oils do more than suppress hunger. They increase your metabolic rate so you burn more energy. They decrease the amount of fat you store. They help you burn the fat you already have and that's why Bulletproof Coffee has become so popular. And then there's the mental clarity. And brain Octane is a superb brain fuel for a few reasons. The first is speed. Uh, brain Octane turns into ketones within minutes. One of the first symptoms of the diseases of aging in the brain, things like dementia, is impaired glucose metabolism in the brain. Sugar can't get where it needs to go, and without energy from sugar, brain cells can get stressed, neurons stop functioning, and some of them even start to die. You see this in Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, ALS, uh, senile cognitive dementia, and all of these types of things. They, they all have an energy basis to them, and if you can do something to help you have more energy in your brain, you're gonna feel good, and there's no guarantee what it'll do to those diseases, but your, function, your functionality goes up as you age if you can keep your brain energy higher. Ketones work on a separate system from glucose. That means that if you're using brain octane, it can provide energy to brain cells that maybe can't process sugar anymore, which keeps the neurons alive and happy in the face of all sorts of insults. When it comes to working out, brain octane makes an excellent exercise fuel. Sugars and simple carbs actually lower your testosterone, which cuts into muscle you're hoping to build in the gym. And brain octane doesn't do that because it's a fast source of clean energy. When you get your brain octane through Bulletproof Coffee, you're actually supporting testosterone synthesis because it also comes with saturated fat and cholesterol from grass-fed butter, and testosterone is made out of those things. Uh, the caffeine from coffee can give you a nice boost in the gym or in the boardroom too. Uh, you'll feel supercharged. Also, in studies, it can improve your stamina. People who supplemented with the MCT oils that work lasted longer and built up less blood lactate during high-intensity interval training, the type of training that I recommend. And mice who ate a diet enriched in these kinds of oils had better endurance during a swim test and produced energy more efficiently. So what's the best way to source MCT oils? Well, it turns out different MCT oils do different things, so you don't wanna just source MCT oil you wanna source the stuff that works best. So obviously here I'm going to talk about Bulletproof Brain Octane Oil, and here's why. 
Brain Octane is 100% caprylic acid, triple distilled in the United States to not allow these trace levels of other types of fat that cause gastric distress. Most companies that make MCT oil of any length use solvents or bleach to clean and deodorize their oil. We use only an earthen clay, so there's no solvents anywhere in our process. A lot of times, in fact, almost all MCT oil on the market is made from palm oil. And palm oil comes from environmentally destructive practices that kill orangutans. If you look at some of the videos online, it's disturbing. It took two years of changing our supply chain for Brain Octane to avoid palm oil and the environmental destruction that comes with it. That also means we have zero solvents anywhere ever in our process, so it's environmentally better. We also don't emulsify Brain Octane oil. A lot of companies will emulsify MCT oil, which basically means they add water to it. They water down the oil so that it will dissolve more easily into liquids, and they're now selling something that looks like MCT oil, but oftentimes it contains lauric acid and a bunch of water. You emulsify Brain Octane when you pour it on your food and eat it. That's what digestion does, or when you put it in a blender and you blend it into your coffee. It's quite easy to emulsify and you just pour it on your food. The other thing about Brain Octane that's different is that we make it in the United States, not overseas. It is more expensive, it supports jobs in the United States, but it also means that Bulletproof team members can fly to the plant and monitor the quality more closely and we know everything that happens. We don't get container loads of stuff and put stickers on it. If Brain Octane is too much energy for you or you want to save some money, try Bulletproof XCT oil. It's made to the same standards. We use a blend of Brain Octane and C10 oil, so it doesn't raise ketones as powerfully as Brain Octane, but you can take more of it because it's more affordable. How to get the right dose. Too little Brain Octane won't curb hunger or put you in deep enough into fat burning ketosis to make a difference. Too much can cause disaster pants. It's harder with Brain Octane, but with XCT oil, you do have a little bit more gastric uh, intolerance, and if you're using generic MCT oil, uh, do not be surprised at what happens. You've been warned. You start with a teaspoon of Brain Octane and build your way up over the next couple of weeks. Some people can just try it and say, oh, I'm fine, I'll do a tablespoon, but go slow or you might have an uncomfortable morning. Your goal is to be able to lift your ketone concentration in your blood to about 0.5 millimoles per liter. A ketone meter and 10 test strips is gonna run you about $100 and additional test strips are somewhere between two and $5 a piece. You don't have to spend money here if it doesn't appeal. Just keep building the dose until you stop feeling hungry whatsoever. Data's nice, how you feel is even nicer. Brain Octane's a powerful tool to add to your biohacking toolbox, and watch out because many MCTs that are out there actually don't contain the stuff that works. And it's time for us to start paying attention to this. All fats are not bad, some fats are bad. All MCTs are not good, some are way better than others, and some of them don't work at all. It's worth giving it a shot for you.